uh, dear Debbie, thank you for your time to be in my room for show your experience and this story about yourself. So, uh, could you please uh, make a brief introduction about yourself? Yes. So my name is David David Dufour. I'm a French citizen, uh, and I arrived in China in 2001. So I did an exchange program between uh, a French university and uh, a Chinese university, Nanchang University in Jiangxi Province. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that was uh, that was an MBA. Uh, my background was science, but then I wanted to look at uh, the world of business. So I, I did an MBA program that brought me to China, and I, I stayed since then. I started working uh, in China right after. Uh, as to add for the MBA, uh, could you please do, do me a favor to tell me uh, what the MBA means and uh, what can the advantage or benefit to the MBA can take into our enterprises? Okay, so an MBA is, uh, is it's, uh, it means uh, Master in Business Administration. So business administration, it means like a, lo a lot of things, right? How a, a company is working. Yeah. Essentially, an MBA will teach somebody who is not a specialist how a company is working. It will give you all the understanding of every department, for example. For most people in your career, you start with a job and then you become specialized in this job. And you become a specialist, for example, in marketing or in sales uh, or in operation or in human resources, for example. And after 10 or 15 years, you become a, a real specialist. You know what you are doing, you become a manager. Um, the next step, of course, is to go to a director level, maybe, or to a senior manager first. For that, you need to understand how your decision impacts the rest of the company. If I'm a human resources person, for example, um, my, uh, the way I recruit people or the way I develop people, it has impact in finance, for example. But I don't know finance, right? I'm a human resources person. So the MBA will explain that, will explain the other function. That's one of the main benefits. I say I'm a specialist, but with an MBA, I open my view. Now I am able to understand, yes, I, I am able to understand uh, marketing. I'm able to understand human resources. I'm able to understand accounting, operation, purchasing, logistics, supply chain, all the other things that you need to understand when you are senior manager or director or even at higher level. That's the main interest point of, a, of, an, of an MBA. Yeah, that means so many enterprises in China with <coughs> owners uh, who own the relatives is working in their own company. So do you think uh, the owners, I mean the CEO, maybe the chairman or the founder, uh, should employ MBA to help help him or help them to uh, to administrate the business or maybe run the business such as the, the marketing sales mm -hmm. department. Uh, so, do you give have any suggestion about the to should to employ the MBA uh, rather than their own relatives to help them? Right. Well, I'd say the um, the main um, the main task for uh, for let's say a CEO or a company owner is what to develop their team, right? To yeah. develop their company. Yeah. And one of the main aspects in your company, one of the main factors for success in a company is the people, the people who are managing. And the middle managers have a very important place, a very important role to play, because the job of a middle manager is to translate the CEO's vision, their strategy, into action. And they are this important link between the CEO and the rest of the company. So if they do well their job, the company is growing well, the company is growing fast, okay? If it's more difficult, then uh, the second layer is going to have difficulty to, to progress. So uh, having people at middle manager or senior manager level who understand this vision and, are, and they are able to understand the, yeah, the vision of the CEO and translate it into action, into daily projects, uh, into customer relationship, for example, into operation. Uh, and in, in order to do that, to be a good middle manager, yeah, you need to understand more than just your function. It's not enough to just understand what you are doing, your own project. You need to understand how to work with other departments. If I'm in research and de development, for example, I'm making the, uh, the new products, for example, I need to understand how the factory is working. Uh, I need to understand how this is going, if I change some, uh, some application in the, pro in the product, how much is going to cost? So, is it? Can we find this? Can we find suppliers who can uh, uh, who can provide us this? 
uh, how much is going to the, the how much is going to be the price? Will our customer accept that? So that's marketing and sales, right? Yeah. So it's not just like doing the best product possible. Oh, okay. we are more how does my decision impact other departments? So we all work together. Yeah. If, you, if I want to use another image, it's like the company is the boat, right? And you want the boat to go to the right direction. Yes, sure. The problem is that sometimes different teams, they pull in different directions. So we try to get everybody to pull in the same direction. Yeah. And I'd say a, a, a manager who has business administration understanding will be more likely to tear to, to push to pull in the right direction, yes.